my name is Renee Fox. I'm an artist in Inglewood, living in Inglewood with my husband, also an artist, Kenneth Ober. And uh, I've organized the Inglewood Open Studios tour for the past six years. Um, this year, the tour, it's every year. It's on the second weekend of November, and this year that will be the 10th and 11th of November. Um, the tour, just a little brief history, started out um, just a couple artists right on the same block, kind of doing open studios on our own, and it has expanded so quickly to this year we have 49 artists, almost 50 artists in the city of Inglewood are participating. Um, we've been really blessed to have support of the city and uh, the ownership of the Beacon Arts Building and 1019 West, as well as local businesses who have sponsored us every year. So we're very proud and really excited, and um, I hope that you get to get to all of the studios. We have two days to reach 50 people, so enjoy. Hello. Hi, my name is Kenneth Ober. I'm one of the artists participating in the Inglewood Open Studios this November. I am a painter. I've been here in Inglewood for the last seven and a half years. I'm a big fan. Uh, my wife, Renee Fox, and I have become very active members in the community here amongst artists and the local politicians. And uh, it's expanded our artistic practice in many ways uh, into the territory of community building and how connecting all these people together can make something truly magic happen. And the Open Studios is a way to share that with the general public. And I hope you'll take the time to come down and visit us all. There'll be over 40 artists participating, and uh, you can see all of our work at the Beacon Arts Gallery group show that'll have one piece by every artist involved. Hello. Hi, Ginger. And what are you doing here today? <laughs> I'm here to talk about my painting and talk about the Inglewood Open Studios event. This is awesome. And what a gorgeous painting you brought in today. Thank you. Is this going to be on the tour? Yes. This will be in the Inglewood group exhibit, the Inglewood Artist Group Exhibit. And tell me a little bit about this painting. This painting is called, well right now, it's called Golden Time of Day. And it's named after a song by Frankie Beverly and Mays. Um, people who know my work know that I typically do storytelling in my artwork. It's sometimes sequential storytelling. There are extended narratives. But this particular painting doesn't have an extended narrative. And it's probably, it's interesting. I think it's one of my best paintings. It's not yet finished. It's almost finished. I still have to do details on the faces and tweak a few things here and there. Um, but this one is more about a feeling and a soulfulness and emotions and things that have to do with nature and things that are really difficult for me to talk about. So, um, <laughs> Danny wants to talk right now. <laughs> One of my friends looked at it, she's from Nigeria, and she said, oh, they're like little black fairies. And I thought, oh wow, that's a really interesting way of looking at the painting. I hadn't considered it in that way, but I definitely think of it as um, a playful fantasy scene of black women and celebration of femininity and nature. Well, thank you very much. This looks lovely. Hello. Hi. And what's your name? My name is Virginia Perarsma. And what kind of artwork do you do? I'm a painter. I do mostly figurative and portrait related, uh, but somewhat abstract as well. And are you an Inglewood artist? I have my studio here at the Beacon Arts Building. Uh, I've been there for almost a year now, and this will be the first year I'm participating in the Inglewood Open Studios. And what inspires you about this area? Uh, well, I heard about the Beacon Arts Building before I moved to the area. I was hearing that there was a community of artists and there was a lot of buzz around it, so I was excited to move here and to be a part of it. Well, thank you very much. Hello. My name is Deborah Lambert. I'm a visual artist uh, with a focus in painting and printmaking. Uh, I moved my studio to the Beacon Arts Building here in Inglewood a year and a half ago, and this is my second year participating in the Inglewood Open Studios Tour. And I'm really excited to continue to be a part of this really great dynamic um, group of uh, artists who I continually draw inspiration from uh, for my work and just personally and it's it's a really great community here in Inglewood and uh, proud to be a part of it. Hello. Hello. And what is your name? My name is Michael Massenburg. And what is 
this lovely portrait that we have here? Uh, this is a piece called In Thought. It's part of an artist series that I've been doing for the past couple of years. This particular piece is inspired by a friend named Cy, mm -hmm. who's a local uh, Inglewood artist and resident. And I wanted to kind of create these portraits along with not only just the image of them, but also about the, the idea of creativity. And that's why I introduced text and abstractions and kind of hopefully get a feel of the person. Are you going to be participating in the Inglewood Open Studios? Yes, always. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Marilyn Camacho. And I'm a mixed media artist here in Inglewood. Um, I have my studio at the Beacon Arts Building, and this is my second year participating um, from the Inglewood Open Studio. Um, this is my work. My work revolves around issues of war and soldiers and their experiences during combat. I have a few friends that serve during the Iraq and Afghanistan war, and I just thought that it's really important for the public to have this discussion, this ongoing discussion about the veterans, because they have a lot of stories to tell, and I think it's important for us to know these stories and their experiences to better understand what they um, went through. Now, everybody have a different um, opinion on war, depending on their experience, so I think it's really important. This particular piece, um, the image, the, the figure, or this composition, is from Robert Kappa's um, dead soldier on, on the balcony. It's during World War II. Um, some of my research materials includes old photographs, looking at old photographs from different time, um, time period, World War I, World War II, um, the Vietnam War. And another really important source for me is interviews with um, veterans. I feel that it's really important to, that's actually the most important part of my practice. I feel that talking directly to the soldiers is very important so that I get you know, or understand what they've um, gone, gone through and their experiences um, during that time. So these patterns that I actually use that are hand cut are coming from different images from Iraq and Afghanistan. I've created my own camouflage in there because ultimately I, I feel that this subject matter is camouflage. I mean, a lot of us don't really know exactly what happened um, so I think that's why it's really important for me to directly talk um, you know, to the veterans and the soldiers. Well, thank you very much. We really look forward to seeing you in the Inglewood Open Studios. Thank you. Hello. Hi. And what's your name? Oh, my name is Stan Smith. I am one of your artists in Inglewood. Uh, this happens to be one of my, all of the pieces are my favorite, but this is kind of close to the the number one piece. And this is actually, I do an abstract art with uh, solid material. In this case, this is uh, walnut and bamboo inlay. And uh, this is all done with compound cuts and a wild imagination. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, this is really unique. Um, this was made back in uh, 2008. So if you get the opportunity, come out and see me. You'll see more of these. Are you going to be in the Inglewood Open Studio? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Yes, I am. I'm going to be over in Hyde Park. Matter of fact, I am shifting stations. So uh, it will be no notice on my door from the original place. And uh, hope to see you there. Thank you very much, Stan. You're welcome. Stan Smith. Yes. You're a wood artist and sculptor, correct? Yes, wood. Wood's Craftsman, slash, everything else with wood. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Hello. And what's your name? My name is Karen Seike, and I'm an Inglewood artist. And what kind of art do you do? I'm essentially a collage artist um, using all different types of paper. Um, I've specialized in creating images that are more realistic, not your typical collage where it's more abstract. So I call my work Paper Mosaic. Is this a sample of your work? Yes, this was a piece that I did from photos I, I have taken of my daughter. And I've used a lot of uh, ledger materials from the 1920s, a uh, paper that's very uh, much of interest to me right now. So I'm incorporating those types of uh, papers into my work. 
This is wonderful. And do you live and work in the Inglewood area? Yes, my studio is in my home. I'm very fortunate. I love living in Inglewood. It's uh, so convenient and just I really enjoy being here especially now with the development of all the art that is um, happening in Inglewood. I'm just very pleased. Are you going to be in the Inglewood Open Studios? Yes, yes I'm excited to be a part of that. This will be my second year participating. Um, this will be my first year where the people will actually be able to come to my home slash studio space so I'll be opening up my studio and looking forward to visiting with everyone. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you there, Karen. Thank you. Hello. Hi. My name is David Spanbach. I'm a painter uh, with a studio in Inglewood at 1019 West Manchester. I've been here uh, for just under a year, so this will be my first time on the open studio tour, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think uh, having people come share the work is an important part of the process. Uh, I feel artists uh, feed off of their environment and so having an encouraging, supportive environment is really great and I'm um, really excited about having folks come out. I can guarantee if you come out and visit all the studios, you will see something that will make you glad you did this. Uh, there's a lot of great work and I really encourage people to come out and check it out. Well, thank you very much. Hello. Hi, I'm Anne Chikla Rose, and I'm the chair of the Inglewood Arts Commission. I want to say thank you very much to the entire Arts Commission, as well as the City of Inglewood, for again sponsoring Open Studios. It's been a pleasure to work with the City in this capacity over the past four years to sponsor Open Studios, bring attention to our art colony here in the town, and Everybody has been absolutely marvelous with their support, their, uh, their turnout. We have lots of city employees that come see us at Open Studios. They enjoy it. They never miss it. And so it's wonderful to be able to say thank you to all of these people. It's a wonderful relationship and we hope it goes for many, many, many years to come. And for everyone, both city and non-city, watching this, I hope you will all join us for Inglewood Open Studios this year. It's going to be a fabulous year. We've got a banner number of artists exhibiting, 49 or 50. And then, of course, there's the group show. The city gives a shuttle, so it's easy to get around. Come see us. You'll like what you see.